have this beat here in dialect I've been working on. And let me go ahead and play for you what I have. But once we hit part three, it's going to start sounding crazy. And I want to show you some things we can do to make it sound not so crazy. Here we go. So it gets a little off the hinges because so much is changing on this part three, right? These are the first, this is the first part, second part, and this is the third part. And this is the one that goes a little wild. So one thing that happens is just a lot changes. I actually think the first pattern is pretty interesting just in general, if you listen to it. But then right here, it really changes. So on these patterns, I'd like them to just stay the same as the previous one. But there's no obvious copy paste feature. Like if you right click or something, you don't see a copy paste sort of menu show up. So the way you do it inside of uh, Dialect is you go ahead and go to range selected. And then we're gonna go ahead and select the bass, the synth, and the chord, and we're gonna copy them down to this part three. Now, I don't wanna mess with this one. Actually, I think that one's pretty cool. So let's go ahead and copy this chord line to these. And I didn't check out this one. And as a rule, I like to see what I'm replacing before, or at least see, I like to listen to it first. Let's go ahead and grab all these other lines though, and give it a little bit more consistent of a feeling across the synths. And we'll go for the slice as well. So we've copied these different things over. And so now let's go ahead and listen to this line now. Okay, and then here on this last one, let's go ahead and keep the chord movement the same. So I'm gonna go ahead and drag that chord over and let's listen to that bit here as well. That's pretty nice. Now you might be going, how the heck is he looping uh, exactly where he wants to go? Well, I'm using the VST version. And so I have on the other screen, a blank pattern. And then each one of these patterns corresponds to like a measure. So this is measure one, two, three, four, uh, so on and so forth. So I can like go, for example, if I wanna start on pattern two, that's measure five. So if I hit play there, I'll jump right there. And that's cause I'm using the external clock and I've gotten so used to navigating this way that um, I, I just do it by default. So if you're like, how did you do that? Uh, but anyways, this copy paste feature with the selected range is super duper duper handy. And hopefully this helps you take some of the more chaotic patterns that you can get out of dialect and rein them into something that is more musically meaningful for you. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to let me know. If you make something cool with dialect, uh, I'd be interested to just give it a listen. It's always cool to see what people are cooking up. Subscribe and hit that bell icon for future videos and have a blessed day.